So like I said, April was a pretty meh month of 2017. Probably one of the worst months, at least for mainstream, wide-released movies of U.S. Of, in the U.S. at least. And if you thought that some of the movies in my best list were bad and undeserving of being considered best movies of any given month, then wait till you hear my worst of, because most of them were mad, but there's one that is down there, or probably even the worst movie I've seen of 2017 so far. So let's get into it. So my number four worst film of April 2017 so far is an animated film, and I ultimately and I ultimately gave it two stars. It is The Smurfs: The Lost Village. I haven't seen the other two Smurf movies, so I have no idea if this is actually a masterpiece compared to those two, but I'm guessing so because a lot of people did ultimately like this, and I understand why. I'm not saying this is a terrible film. I gave it two stars. That's not that bad of a film, even for a bad film. One of those movies where I can understand, yeah, kids are going to like this, some adults will find it good. It is a decent adventure, and there is charm to it, and the animation isn't half that bad. But for me, at the same time, it is a little too generic of an adventure. There is a few things that are just sort of generic, bland, and a little too childish for my taste. Like I said, kids and younger audience will probably like this and find this exciting. Me, it's just... eh. It's okay for a certain audience. For me, not so much. Alright, my number three is probably most people's worst of April of 2017. Because I, quite frankly, not too many people saw my number one and my number two, most likely. People probably thought, okay, this could be an okay movie and then find out that it's pretty bad. It is The Circle. There are things that I like about The Circle. I think there is some social commentary here and there that is good. It's just not fully fleshed out or developed. A few of the older actors and actresses in this movie do a fine job, but they're not given a lot for their character or for the script, and so they're doing the best they can. While most of the younger adult actors and actresses did a pretty bad job. The only one that didn't do a bad job is is John Boyega, but then again, he wasn't in it that much anyway. There are ideas here and there that are good. It's just poorly acted. Um, it tries to be a thriller, but it's not really a thriller until the last act of the movie, where it tries to throw in this really forced aha, gotcha moment, when it just... The main character is hard to like, Emma Watson probably does her best, but this is probably the worst performance I have ever seen from her. And I ultimately, I usually like Emma Watson. I think she's completely fine. There isn't anything that I found great from her, but I never found her to be a bad actress. This is the worst I've seen of her, and she reminds me of Kristen Stewart at times in The Circle. But it's also her character who is hard to follow and hard to really get behind because she does all these decisions that, from hindsight, from our audience perspective, seem really dumb, and even if we look at her, th look at it through her perspective, would be dumb of her to do as well. It is a pretty boring movie. It has interesting things here and there that kept me from giving it a worse score than I did, but ultimately it is a two-star movie, and most people will probably think it's like a one or a zero or one of the worst things they've ever seen ever, which I understand because people don't see as much movies as I do. I've seen worse, so I can give this two. My number two is a type of thriller we pretty much get every year. It is Unforgettable. Okay, Unforgettable has a few things here and there that's so bad that it's good. So bad that it's hilarious. Unfortunately, most of the trash that you'd expect from this movie doesn't happen until the last 30 to 40 minutes of the film. So you have to sit through at least an hour to an hour and 10 minutes of a boring slog that has a few things here and there that you're like, oh, that could be funny. The crazy stuff at the end of the film, the things that I was laughing at that I was having a good time at its, at its expense, is enough for me to give it like one or one and a half or whatever I ended up giving unforgettable. 
The two main actresses, Rosario Dawson and Katherine Heigl, do their best performances that they can for the material. Rosario Dawson is actually trying and actually giving a performance in this, so I gotta hand, hand it to her. Katherine Heigl is being as over the top and crazy as she can, and she keeps it interesting. So those two are the gems of this movie. Also, there are a few things here and there that feel like this actually could have been a good, unique story. There are elements in this movie, character arcs and developments and relationships that they sprinkle in this movie that could have easily worked and if they fleshed it out, this actually could have been an entertaining movie to watch. Unfortunately, they add it and then they completely leave it hanging and they don't care to explain it all that much. And so instead of focusing on the characters and the development and the relationships and the character arcs, they decide to focus primarily on how Katherine Heigl ends up black, not blackmailing, ends up framing Rosario Dawson. And it's all the generic things you'd expect. It's all the things that you can easily explain in just one or two scenes, but they stretch it out and it's like, okay, we get it. We know what she's going to do. Just do it already. And so they focus too much on that, on the thriller aspect, that you don't really care about the characters and the things that could have been interesting are completely left hanging. So yeah, there is some potential in Unforgettable. Unfortunately, it's wasted potential, and the only good thing about it is the last 30 to 40 minutes, where it's completely over the top and trashy, and the thing you could make fun of and laugh at and have a good time. But my number one worst film of April 2017, and most likely going to stay my worst of April 2017, might even be my worst of 2017 period, is Spark, A Space Tale. I actually got this in theaters. I had no idea what it was even about, so I looked up the trailer, saw how bad it was, and I thought, okay, I have to see this movie to see how bad it is. The most boring time I've had in the theater so far this year. Only one bright spot in this entire movie. The voice acting is good. They have legitimate voice actors. They have some good names in this movie. And they all perform. There's some actors and actresses that actually have a dramatic moment in the movie and they don't phone it in. They actually give a performance. I gotta hand it to them. That was good. Another thing, the cinematography, if you can call it that, because it is a CGI 3D animated film, so they're not real so there really isn't any cameras, but the framing, the movement of what we see, the cinematography, in lack of a better term, is actually pretty good and there are times where it is unique and could be good if the animation itself wasn't so bland and made for the TV style of animation that doesn't really deserve to be on the big screen. If this was a cartoon series on TV, then the animation would be pretty good. But it's a movie put into theaters. And it's not up to snuff. The worst thing about this movie is the characters and the story. The story is so generic, it is your typical fantasy sci-fi film. If you can think of uh, the most generic plot for a sci-fi fantasy film, you probably know exactly what Spark of Space Tale is about. And you can have a generic storyline as long as you do something with it that's creative and fun and entertaining and done solidly. This is not Spark of Space Tale. There are a few moments here and there where it is just really hilariously bad. But, for the most part, any genuine joke that this movie tries to make is cringeworthy, painful. I sunk in my seat when I saw this movie in theaters. I was the only one. Got to see it for free. Thank God. Most likely I'll be doing an in-depth review of Spark of Space Tale, where I go through the majority of the film. Won't that be fun? Anyway, that is the worst movies I saw in April 2017. 
What are the worst movies you saw from April 2017? Most likely it's The Circle, Unforgettable, or if you were unlucky enough like me to see Spark a Space Tale. That would, my, that would be the most obvious picks that I can think of. And if you like this countdown and you want to see more, please subscribe and check out my movie reviews and countdowns of 2015, 2016, or 2017. As always, this is Bruce Gifford and this was just my opinion.